Hi all. In this lecture, we'll see about Python Sys module. So Python Sys module is used to manipulate the Python R runtime environment. So we'll see there are some methods and variables to access the runtime variable, runtime environment of Python. So we will see some of the methods and how. So here we have to import sys, like you have seen OS module, we have to import sys here. Now if you, the first method is exit, sys.exit method is there. So sys.exit method is actually, it is a function used to terminate the program when it is needed. So if you want to terminate the program, you can use this sys.exit. So this is used in during exception handling and all. So if some exception occurs, then if you want to terminate the program, you can simply use this function sys.exit. So we'll uh, run this program. So if you print this, you can print this. After that, if you are exiting this, this print I am fine will not be printed. Now if you run this program, you can see that hi, only hi, how are you will be printed. So because since you are using this uh, exit function, this exits uh, when it reaches the statement. So that is the use of exit function. Now I'll comment this thing. So I'll comment these three lines. Now uh, we will go to the next thing. Uh, next uh, is to, next method is to uh, is the sys dot max size so sys dot max size i will uncomment this thing sys dot max size so it fetches the largest value of variable uh, variable of that data type can hold so if you run this thing you can get the maximum size so this is the maximum size a variable a particular integer variable can hold so you just got using the max size i will comment that thing then we will see the next system function. It is a sys.path. So this is sys.path. So this is sys.path. It will return the variable, shows the value of Python uh, environment variable. So it will give the Python environment variable. Now if you run this program, you can see that. So these are the Python runtime environment. So since I have used two different, I am using two different Python in this uh, system, uh, I'll get the runtime uh, environment of this Python.28 under, under this folder. So all the uh, for, uh, path will be caught when you give this thing. Now if I use the same thing, if I use the same thing, I am using another one in both this and if I run this here, so you'll get uh, under this thing. So I have installed Anaconda. So this is another runtime environment. I'll get the path of all the modules. So I'll get the path of all modules inside that Anaconda tree. Okay. So that is it. So I am running this in different uh, Python 28. This is another one, and the other one is another version. That is Anaconda. So I'll get the value of the path, Python path environment. Now I'll comment this thing. Okay, next is uh, platform. So next is print dot, uh, print of sys dot platform. So sys dot platform, it is to identify the host operating system. So if you want to identify the host operating system, you can simply type it and you will get Win32. So this is actually a Windows system. So if you are using Mac, it will give Mac. If you are using Linux, it will give return your Linux and all. So it is to identify the uh, host operating system. So next one is uh, executable. So it specifies a path of uh, Python executable files. So if you give this thing, to run this thing, you can find out all the executable files. So this is the executable file of Python of executable file of Python in this inside this folder. So if you run the same thing, if you run the same thing in the other thing, you can find out you will get an uh, different 
answer so you'll get it as python.exe so it is inside this anaconda 3 okay then next is uh, print.sys modules so it is uh, it, it gives a returns a list of available modules so if you run this thing So it will return all the list of available modules. So it has skewed. Now if you click this thing, you can get the whole thing inside that virtual modules are executable. So all the executable files will be listed here. So all the executable files will be listed here. So if you use a start modules, it will, uh, sorry, not the executable. So it lists the uh, available modules inside this sys. then the next is copyright so it gives a copyright of the system or python so if you run this thing you'll get all the copyrights of this python software so there are uh, four copyrights available one is python software foundation then is be open then corporation of national research institutes and then the stitching mathematics amsterdam so that is sys dot uh, copyright. Then uh, another important variable we use, another important uh, command we use is uh, using argv arguments. So uh, this gives a list which shows a command line arguments. Okay. So uh, this is actually it prints uh, uh, different arguments. So if we give arg, so it is mainly used when we do some command line input and all. So if you are familiar with C, C++, Java and all, you will be using command line arguments. So I will run the same program in this uh, environment. So, so here I'll be, I'll be simply running the same program. You know how to run this in command prompt. So I'll be retyping Python and the file name is test1.py. So if you run this program, uh, you won't get, you will get an error since you have asked to print four arguments, uh, three arguments, four arguments. So I will simply print. So you have to give at least four arguments. So if you are giving some uh, command lines here, so if I am giving Jacob space love comma Tom comma J. So I have given four arguments here, but you will uh, when you print this, you when you run this, you'll get you entered uh, first argument, the argument of zero. So if this is actually argument of zero. It is actually the file name you will get, and the argument of one is sys.arg one is actually the first command line what you are given that is jcap, and the argument of two is the second command love, argument that is love. And the uh, ARG3 is, it is top. Since you have uh, asked to print only three, you will get only this. You won't be getting this Jane. If you want this Jane also, then you have to print one more argument. You have to print, uh, you have to print the fourth one. Okay, now if you run the same program, if you run the uh, same program with four arguments, then the uh, whole arguments will be printed. So this is needed when you want to find which all command line arguments you have passed, uh, you require, require this thing. So in order to find the arguments, so you have to use this argv dot. Uh, so even in for loop you can do this by simply uh, taking one by one so here the first zeroth argument will be the file name the actual file name after python you will be entering the file name so this will be the first uh, argument v of zero will be file name then the other arguments will be the arguments that will be entered through command line so you will be running if you are running a script you will be giving some arguments to that uh, when you run that script. So all those arguments will be stored and you can get those arguments by simply giving sys.argv 
or 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. And 0 will be for the file name. So that is why here you will get the file name as a first argument. So you enter this is ARG0, this is 1, this is 2, and this is 3, and this is 4. Okay. So in this way you can get the arguments. So that's all about uh, sys module. There are other sys modules also. You can refer the document. So these are some of the things that you'll be using generally for inside the sys module. Thank you.